All right, here's a nice word problem. A bank offers two account plans. Their local plan charges 650 monthly service fee plus $4 for each ATM transaction beyond five transactions per month. Their everywhere plan charges $25 monthly service fee plus $1.25 per ATM transaction. For what number of ATM transactions per month will the everywhere plan cost less? So if we look at the inequality for this, we're going to have, uh, it looks like the everywhere plan is less. So we have the everywhere plan, it needs to be less than the other plan, which is the local plan. Now if we can write inequalities, uh, rather uh, expressions for these, then we're gonna be in really good shape. So the everywhere plan, as we can see, charges $25 a month, so we got the 25, plus 125 per every transaction. So if we let X be an ATM transaction, then we're in good shape. So what about the local plan? The local plan is 650 monthly service fee, but then you have $4 for every ATM transaction. Now we do need to consider that the first five transactions are free. And I can incorporate that into this equation uh, by showing that, again, if I just show the five times the number of transactions, but it's zero dollars for those first five, then I'm in good shape. Uh, on the other hand, though, I need five transactions on the other side, but these ones are going to cost me 125 each. So that gives us $6.25 there on the left side. This is just zero, this costs us nothing. So we have the rest of this inequality. All right, then I'm gonna combine my like terms. So I got 31.25 plus 1.25x is less than 6.50, 650 plus 4x. So now I just need to decide which side I want. The x is on. And I'm going to choose the right side, so I'll subtract 1.25x from both sides. And in addition to that, I'll subtract 650 from both sides. Now I just need to divide both sides by 2.75. And that tells me that x is bigger than 9. Now this means that after 9 transactions, um, which doesn't include the five, all right? So um, at nine transactions, we would have an equality, but um, at nine transactions past the five, because we did put those in there, then we have an equality. But this is an inequality, so as long as the transactions, again, we see that the x is greater than nine. As long as the transactions is greater than nine, past the 5, then uh, the any everywhere plan is going to cost less. So really the inequality should look something like this, right? Because again, this is 9 past 5, so it would be 14, as long as the number of transactions is past 14. In other words, as soon as we make 15 transactions, then yes, the everywhere plan does cost less. Uh, we could just say 15 or more transactions if we want to write it out in words.